Hi, this is Jan again from McLeod Technology. Today, we would like to uh, give you a share to you another idea of how to save the print head of the 2408. This is the MP2408. And the idea here, the problem is like this. So we've been running a nozzle check. So we are here in a client premises. We're running a nozzle check. And the problem right now is this one. See the problem? So the cyan is not working. The magenta is still okay. The black is a little bit okay. It's okay. Then this is the white and this is the yellow. So all the rest, we try to do everything. Did you see how many nozzle check we did? And it's not really coming out. This is the one of the thing that we did, see? Cyan is not working. Magenta, black, yellow is working. The rest is white. So this is what we did. Like, now, with this problem, the cyan is not working anymore. Okay? So if you are using other printers, the solution there is to replace a printer. You know how much the cost of replacing the printer? It's between $2,500 to $3,500. Okay? For this printer, your cost is about $3,000 because when you replace the printhead, you need to replace the wiper, the damper, which is on top of the printhead, the printhead itself, and the capping station. The capping station is the one that sucks the ink. So if you replace the printer, be sure you replace the rest of it. Don't partially do it because if your capping station is not working properly, you will just clog the head again. Or maybe your dumper is, you know, there's a filter in the dumper. So if you replace the printer and you don't replace the dumper, your dumper maybe is clogging also because of, you know, he's the one filtering the large pigment that it will not reach the printhead but in this situation right now our problem right now is one of the color cyan is not working so cyan is clogging now what shall we do definitely the, the, the next thing to do is to replace the printhead but we did something okay so what we're gonna do is we replace we shut off the cyan and transfer the cyan here to the light cyan we move it here so to do that, all you have to do, I'll show to you the ink. So this is the ink for light cyan, and this is the ink for cyan, right? So in order to do that, all you have to do is remove the chip. This is the chip. Remove the chip, and remove the chip of this, and transfer it here. Okay, that's how easy. After you remove the chip, you exchange the cartridge also. So that's what we did here in the printer, okay? We exchange it and after that we do the initial fill so initial fill is to, to plus all the ink and after that we come up with a new color arrangement look at this so i don't know if you can see it but i show it here look at this so the cyan you see that it's not working but the magenta the black the white the white the yellow the white again and now the cyan moves here to light cyan Okay, you see it, this is a light cyan already. So with the seven channel, and we try to print. So I have this transfer, okay? I have this transfer that prints using eight channel, okay? This is printed by eight channel. What I'm gonna do now is check if it prints the same, the same color. This is an eight channel, four whites and same YK. What we did right now here is same YK plus three whites. Instead of four whites, now three times, this time is three whites. You can do it take up to six, six channel. We will have a, this next video, we will do the six channel. So it means if you damage two of the, two of the channel, you can still run by eight by six channel. Okay, this is how good this printer will be. Now let's cut this one and let's see what's the difference of the color. Okay, cutting now. All right. So this is the print. Look at this. This is the print of the six channel. I know it's seven channel. Sorry. This is the print of the seven channel, and this is the print of the eight channel. Did you see any difference, Miguel? I don't see any difference at all.
No difference. So just to be clear, that's eight. This that's is eight seven. channel, four whites and same YK. This one is three whites and same YK. All right. So now it prints the same. You don't need to replace a printhead. I just save you another three thousand dollars or three thousand five hundred dollars for ink for for printhead replacement, and it saves the whole thing. So this is the technology we have in MacLeod. So you don't need to buy a new printhead. Just exchange it. Okay? And initial fill, and now you go back to normal. Now this is the setting in the... This is the setting now on the acro reef. I will show you the acro reef here. So in the acro reef here, you see the setting here. Normally, the setting is cyan, yellow, white, uh, black, magenta and white 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 now the next thing you do is you, you turn this into like this so see that that's off yellow cyan we move the cyan we exchange it and black magenta white 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 so from the from the previous like this this is the in the, the original one okay this is white and this is cyan but since the cyan doesn't stop working all you have to do right now is change this into this. And it's off, yellow, cyan. Then you plus the ink, and now it's working. The one that you see there. Okay? So I hope, guys, it will help you. So we are here in the client, one of our clients here at GTS. Of course, one of the head went down, and they told us, do we need to replace the head? The solution is no. So you have eight channel. This is the beauty if you're using the McLeod MP2048. If you have the eight channel or any anybody who use the eight channel with Acro Rip 10, all you have to do is shut down the channel that, that caused you the problem and exchange the ink. And everything will just run. Exchange the exchange the the, the chip like this. Just move it. Move it here and move it there. And change the Change the, change the cartridge. Now, remember, the cyan is not working, right? So during printing, you shut it off. But every time that you do the head cleaning, you are doing the head cleaning of all these things. If this one later on will come back to life, then you just need, instead of off, you just put it back to white. And you're printing again with four channels. Do you get it? So now you can save the head. You don't need to buy the head. If another channel will shut down, then you just need to exchange it. And now you can keep printing. So this is the beauty of this printer. And yeah, don't waste your time right now. So this is a 360 nozzle printer, 360 nozzle per channel. So this is like twice the speed of the other printer like uh, the MP2400 and uh, the Moto, you know they have the Moto right now that's coming out of the market the Moto 628D that's a DX7 here this is, this is a 8 channel I think with 180 nozzle so the speed of that is half the speed of this machine because this is 360 nozzle and that one is 180 nozzle so way back to this we will have another video about the comparison between this printer and the other printer but now you can print this printer with seven channels three whites and four and cmyk and it produced the same result i show it already to you between the four cha the eight channel and the seven channel so if one double down there then you can go into into a uh, Six channel operation and maybe you can still print we will have the video for six channel we'll find a printer again that uh, two channel is down and we can change it and make it run using the using the six channel uh, option all right guys see you again and thank you for watching this video